Hey guys, uh, this is Trump 47 and welcome back to another video. Let's jump back into BGD6, like the past three videos. So, yeah. Let's, let's, whoa, what's this? Oh, I'll check that out later. So, I get a ninja, instant ninja monkey with distraction for my daily reward. And let's see this first. What is this? Uh, I actually don't have anything planned for today, so I'm not exactly sure what I should do right now. So let's just look around. I got the ninja monkey. Let's see what we can do here. So, last time I got hard on this one. I wonder what the last badge is. Uh, we got the medium for the first two to get around. And let's check out the advanced maps. Ooh, you have the spillway, the cargo, the path spawn, peninsula, peninsula, high finance, finance, okay, and another brick. Okay. Off the coast, cornfield, and underground. Well, okay then. So, uh, it doesn't, let's see what I can do here. If I go to hard. Oh! You have this, so, this looks like fun. I can either do that, on um, Monkey's Lane, or something else, or maybe I can do, um, what's the race event? I can race, let's see what the race event is. Time starts when you press play, send rounds early to improve your time, but be careful. Race games will not save, so don't try to quit mid-game. Oh, so this is for best times. Let's try the race game. Okay, so I honestly forgot what monkeys I had, so let's start over. What should I do first? So for the race game, it looks like the first thing I should send is a monkey engineer. Are you kidding me? Nope, okay then. So it looks like if I quit, I kind of just... <clears throat> dead. That was not very smart of me, okay. So you know what, let's just do this. Um, I want to see what primary only does. It apparently awards you with 75 bucks, I think. Or it costs 75 bucks. Just give me a target. Hmm. Did it cost 75 bucks or did it give or will it give me 75 bucks? I'm not exactly sure, but hopefully it's gonna give me 75 bucks. Let's just get this thing going for me. Because this thing can pop a lead. So instead of getting spike pole or cannons only, I can get this guy. How efficient is it? This guy has some popping power, decent popping power too. And Red Hot Rangs doesn't only pop um, pop lead, but it also does twice the damage. So it can pop uh, instantly pop blue blooms. So that's great. I can get this one, get um, faster rings, and maybe get Kylie Boomerang. Ky uh, Kylie is the one that shoots in a straight line, so that's cool. I can either get Kylie or Bionic Boomerang, but I kind of want Monarch Press. But at the same time, Monarch Press isn't, Monarch Press isn't really um, necessary, since there's only like, one coming. Uh, I'll just stay with Kylie. Last. Yes, if I go with first, I'm afraid that the leads won't pop once they start coming in. And since this, the last aligns with the line, so that's cool. Nice. Should I have something else besides just a boomerang? It seems a bit odd to just have a boomerang. Maybe a glue gunner should do it. Yeah, that seems right.
This can get um, cluster bombs, heavy bombs, balloon impact. I don't really want cluster bombs in a recursive cluster. So I can go for Moab Mauler. I don't need them. Um, actually, I'll go for the big, the big bombs. And maybe faster reload and missile launcher. Missile launcher is always my like favorite. So I'm gonna go with the missile launcher. But then I won't have range. Oh the missile hat gives a bit of range. So this guy's gonna give me a bit of range. I hope. Mi yep, there we go. That's a little bit more range. Wish it had been a little bit more, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> the, the bomb doesn't even have time to go. Oh. It doesn't even. Okay, there it is. I kind of wish I had enough. Um, quit the race event because I really want to see what that was. It, apparently you have to finish it in the fastest time, so that means placing all your towers at the front. So basically that's a speed run. I'm really trying to speed run here, but ho hopefully it goes faster. Yes? It seems like I won't need the snap tower or the frozen guy or the ice monkey. So I can just like, get a bunch of like maybe I don't know like dark monkeys and get a super monkey fan club or something. Because it's always satisfying to see ten super monkeys on the screen all mow down like a Moab or something. Cool gunners. What upgrades? I have... I can... I'll just get Girls of Blue at the moment. So this can make it stick to Moabs, which I don't really need. Oh, so if I stick to Moabs, it can kind of slow down the thing. I see. This is gonna go for straw. I kinda wanna slow down the faster ones. But at the same time, it's better to have me get like pop faster, but it doesn't matter. I got I got a um uh, Oh wait, that was that was probably the thing. I should save up for Kylie. Let's take Kylie. Kylie's just like super like good poppy power. Yeah, I'll need some dark monkeys for this. Crossbow, triple shot, so it looks like crossbow is going to be my best option here, because, well, it depends. I want to pop camo, yes. but there's not a lot of camo. I'll just take crossbow, it doesn't matter if it doesn't like pay off at the end. If you get uh, sharp shots and razor sharp shots, I kind of want a damage. So I'm gonna let I let this only pop two balloons now for now. Don't really need to pop much more since it's in that kind of spot. So this can go for strong, definitely. Ooh, glue gunner looks really cheap at the moment. What's lead? 
an attachment to with these what what does lead have any advantage against these two? Let's just finish this one. So I can get mob breath in This isn't get a bomb all right? Blue crush. Oh, I don't have a assassin yet? Okay, that's kind of stupid of me, but sure. Sharpshooter. Or, um. Let's take Sharpshooter. I tried it, it's not bad. First of all, Sharpshooter can, like, immediately pop yellow balloons now, which is cool. But at the same time, the crits, the critical hits, I think, just, like, do, like, extra damage some balloons. It's just, like, there's a Moab, I'm gonna take it down with this guy. If the Moab Mauler is really necessary, I can have Moab Blue, which just soaks the Moabs, or I can get Moab Press. Moab Mauler is really good against Ceramics, so when those come, I'll have a couple of these ready. Well, now I know I don't need the Dissolver, and the Glue Splatter is not really necessary. I'm confident I can do it without this guy, or without the, the, the this guy slowing down the mob, so. I think mob press is all I really need, plus another one of them, um, another one of these frag bombs. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so this is uh, round 29, which means almost time for the mob. Let's get mob press. Yeah? Get bigger globs. Let's go, let's go. Oh, bulk. okay then. That was totally unnecessary, but nonetheless, I did it. So let's see if races. Shoot. Well, I can. I have to do this. Popcorn, advanced challenge. I don't feel like this doing these things. So, um, what does deflation do? Oh, this is a reward. What's deflation? I kind of want to see what deflation is. You start round 31 with two. Oh, we can't earn any more. So, Are they saved? Are they saying they have to be conservative? Let's restart. Because that's a lot of money to start with. Just not quite enough. How much area does this thing cover?
and I'll need monkey business. I don't really need monkey commerce. Quincy can be here. Nothing gets past my bow. You know, Quincy. I can get. A mage is gonna do pretty well. So is the engineer, I hope. And for engineer, I'm gonna get sentry gun, along with fast engineering. This one is gonna get monkey sense, shimmer, and it's gonna have some blood pop power. Larger service area, deconstruction. Rockets. Sentry Expert is way too What's expensive. Up? Don't need that. And Alchemist seems quite appealing. Ooh, I can get Acid Mixer Drip. Or I can put some stronger acid. Does lead to gold? I wonder if lead to gold gives you the ability to earn more money. Either way, I'm getting acid pool. Ooh, can I? Does lead to gold work? I wonder if it works. Let's try lead to gold and rubber to gold. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but hopefully it will. Let's do this and see what happens really. It 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 oh it doesn't work. Yep, lead to gold and rubber to gold doesn't work. Noted. Okay, let's do this. Maybe extra so conservative or con conservant. Are you kidding? With my with our Nothing monies. Oh, I didn't even get monkey business. That is stupid of me. I am stupid. Oh. You guys are probably getting bored of seeing me just like fail over and over again. Not completing simple tasks. safe space, so I will need this guy because he's going to be on my main camo. Wall of fire. Engineer is going to be popping power. Deconstruction. Do I really need an alchemist? Not sure. Let's see how this um this plays out. And what I really need to add. Yes. Let's calculate how much I can get with the uh, Super Monkey. So Super Monkey 
Laser class of 2000, 2500. Wait, what? 2125. 2125. Plus, um, 2125. So that, that the 2125 doubled would be 400, 4250. Add on, add on another one of these, 4250. This is going to be a little bit over 7,000. Um, if I need to get exact, I'll be exactly 7,000. So 7,000 will give me. I can afford a super monkey with laser blast or plasma vision. Let's just do this. All right. If I need to add anything else, I will, but it doesn't look like I need to. Now, to maximize the powers of my balloons or monkeys, I need something to slow stuff down. I know ice isn't going to work because Moabs are kind of frost resistant, if I were to say it myself, but Glue Gunner. Glue Gunner seems like the way to go. So, glue gunner itself costs... Mod glue is gonna cost $2,000. It seems like I do not have enough. Or maybe I do, I don't know. I think I do. And the fact that I have a trade guy. So if I place this down, it's gonna be 10% awesome. less. Hopefully this will get me through medium. Oh, you know what I could do? I could sell this if I don't need him anymore. So at the end, I'll definitely sell him. Oh, I could have also gotten Monkey Commerce. And once I got Monkey Commerce, I could have sold, sold this upgrade too. So that's, I guess, a way to maximize your money. So will a spike factory work? A spike factory is gonna get... Yeah, spike factory is definitely gonna work. I just don't know if I'll need them or not. Let's see here. Long life spikes... Seems... Decently good. If I can't do, if my mob popping power isn't enough, an ace should be the way to go. I don't know what else I can do. I, I have to stay away from really expensive stuff, except for the super monkey because that's all I really have at the moment to get to take care of. Like everything, basically. These guys will just patrol, like, the area. Yeah, ceramics aren't getting past. I remember deflation from BTD5, but I kind of forgot what it does. So this is a kind reminder to how badly I lost in deflation, I think. I think I lost. I don't know, I might have to go back and check if I lost that time. Or not, but Incoming. yeah, Moab balloon. Yeah, the Moab just gets destroyed by the plasma, or else nothing's gonna do. And deconstruction, deconstruction is a big part of the, or a semi big part of the Moab thing. I am Quincy, son of Quincy. The good thing about Archer or Quincy is that he's really cheap and he upgrades himself. Yeah, that's. Yes. That just means he basically becomes like I don't know, maybe a double shot or balloon jitsu by around like 60 or something. This guy needs to attack faster. Like, come on, yes. he can do better. And I meant shimmer, shimmer because like it's a, it's attack doesn't matter. I'm here for the lead popping and the shimmer. 
Or if I really wanted to get Shimmer, I could have gotten rid of, um... I didn't even need this guy, to be honest, except for the wall of fire. Which by itself is pretty good. Yes? Oh, and Chrissy has this thing, so... Probably at round 50 I'll make this. Put this thing in use. Come on, just, just go. What if all I had was a sun avatar? And uh, and a radar scanner. You Would that work? Some. I can add a druid, I guess, at the end to prevent to, in the tornado to prevent them from leaking through. Fortify ceramics are no problem. They can't really do much against myoplasma. As long as these two can take care of camo, I'm not that concerned. But the thing is, when the camo purples come out, and this guy is like, busy, that might be a problem. Yeah? Like that, like that. But it's not so- it's not a problem at the moment. Because I have a shimmer and it should like it looks like it's pretty effective. I can have a boomerang on Q's bot press. I don't know if I have enough of that. But if I need it, I'll get it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh oh. I just realized You want some? I can get uh, the flamethrower guy. I don't necessarily need Quincy because it's um, semi late game already. And I could have also gotten um, the forest dude because he gives magic monkeys a lot of power. So that could have supported my super monkey a whole bunch right there. But the mob, the mob's not getting fast. What the heck was that? Ceramics are not a threat. It's the fortified ones that are. That all you got? Like the swarm of. Oh, that was bad. Come on, come on. You can shimmer better than this. Quincy's gonna take care of those by himself. It looks like if it doesn't work, actually it's probably gonna work because the balloons come around anyways. So if he misses on his first um, first loop, it, it they always come back. Also, Vina, that this thing has like extra extra range. This is a problem. Might be a problem. No longer a problem. The BFB will definitely be a problem. So we'll probably get a mob mauler or two. Just take care of these. Headshot. Hmm. Oh yeah. Incoming! Oh no, this is quite the round. We've got both like a swarm of ceramics and moabs coming in. First time they made it around this loop. Yeah, without the super monkey I would've probably already been dead. But gladly he's here. Yeah. And yeah, ceramics can't get past. It's the mobs I'm kind of concerned about. Well, I mean, they kind of can if they swarm in like groups bigger than the size of 10. Come on, shimmer, shimmer. The wall of fire is good against small balloons, but when it comes to ceramics and mobs, not the best tower. Headshot. How is that a headshot? I don't even know if balloons or mobs have heads. And if they did, their heads would have been so big. 
you be like stupid to not miss to not hit it. Oh come on. Things are getting sketchy now. What can I get? Uh this thing necromancer. I guess can do something, but it's not gonna be much help, it's too expensive. Yeah. Sentry expert's not gonna help either. Alchemist, not gonna do anything. Ninja monkey, no. Super monkey, wizard monkey. No, moon monkey, no. Hella pilot, uh, that seems a bit too expensive because the the pilot by itself is a thousand of like something. No, fighter planes might be a good idea. Sniper might also be a good idea. Those the the thing is about it six too expensive, so that's why I don't know. Oh, all right, all right, right. I have the uh, mauler still. Don't know if I need it, but I can either get boomerangs out of the question is too expensive. So it's either the monkey ace or mod maulers. Let's have an ace. And then we'll sell the the, the. This is gonna work, I hope. I'm gonna do spy plane. Sharp regards. I don't need center path. Let's try this. And at the end, remember, I can still sell this guy for a thousand two hundred. What the mob is? Because I need something to take care of BFB, so a few um, mob mobs should do it. I can pop lead and camo. I've got this guy. This guy by itself already pops camo lead. Not to mention we have like a plasma super monkey right here. I do have to say, uh, okay. Let's take. You know what? A mob assassin sounds. Killing at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I obviously don't have enough for my Mauler. So I can either. No, maybe even if I am. Um... My Mauler sounds cool. Range. That's all I'll get. What next? And yeah. Hopefully this takes care of the BFB for me. BFB incoming! Why are the missiles not hitting? Just, just like circle over there. Ooh, they're semi. Okay, there we go. That was. That was good. He's um, not really sure about how deflation really works. The music, like, some half the time glitches, half the time doesn't. Yeah, I kind of found all these cool stuff. This thing, and the ninja, there's also another ninja monkey up here. So. Ooh. That's not cool. There's, there's metals inside of metals. Magic monkeys only. Double. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Double HP Moabs. Sure. Impoppable. Ooh, alternate balloon rounds. Half cash. Chimps. What's chimps? What does medium have? Military only. Reverse. And apocalypse.
You know what I could do? I could just try out the spill lane. See what it really is. I'll do a spill lane. What is this? Boons come in, they circle around, they go out. That was so good. Oh, you're saying I can't do anything else. And this thing can't do anything like this. Okay. I see what it's doing. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this, boys. So the middle, the balloons just go around and then they, they leave. Well, once I get bigger blasts, it's gonna be cool. I'm oh, stupid. I can just done this. I can just done this. Goodbye. Go on your journey to kill our town. You know what? This is getting ridiculous. Can't afford to lose any more health here. I've already lost 10. <laughs> it's not a lot, but sure. You faster you live. This is all I can do at the moment. Like, I have nothing else, literally. I don't- I'm still not sure what to do with this middle square. Let's see if I can- I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I can do. Everything is confusing at the moment. Well, it looks like- oh, never mind. I was about to say none of the balloons are leaky. But... They are. That's sad. The sub can't go here. What am I supposed to do? Maybe I all have to do is just mortar the whole way. This is becoming more and more like a puzzle game, than a strategy game, but still fun. Ooh, I need more, more targeting. Or I need, I need a Loom Buster, because it looks like the green ones are getting through fast. This one's gonna leak through, isn't it? Well, one just like, uh, leak. Leck? Leak through? Leaked through? Leck through? This is intense, and yeah, I'm not really doing anything right now. Yeah, I need Bloom Buster for sure. Once after after I finish this round, or hopefully before then. 
which isn't very likely. Yeah. And once I get rapid fire, it's gonna be much better because the yellow still t only take two hits, just like the greens. So right now it looks like no balloons are gonna leak through, which is always good. Just as I say that, a balloon leaks through. Come on, man. Now a sniper would be a sniper would be tap decent. And covering up the the the, the whiskers, escaping balloons. Oh come on! It only covers half the screen. That means I'll need two snipers. I can't have two snipers. It's too expensive. Remember when snipers had infinite range? And there were no view obstructors. There we go. Even faster reloading. So now that hopefully the yellow ones can't get past. I'll need something else for the pinks. Because I know that's gonna be hard. Yeah, this is going well so far. Shell shock is gonna be needed. But so is um, heavy bombs. Because I know the black ones are, uh, uh, you know what, sniper seems, sniper seems cool. I'll go with the strong. I'll get one on each end. I could've just had snipers the entire the way, but then nothing could hit the middle. So that's not cool. I wonder what a Moab's gonna be like in here. So this guy is going to prevent balloon leak, I hope, or both of these guys. But I need, to have, I need something to take care of black with. Actually no, the, the, the sniper can do it so far. I just need to get them both on fast firing, so the black balloons aren't um, too much of a problem. Whites are definitely uh, acceptable, don't need whites. Either that, or I can get another mortar with heavy shells. And this is gonna this is gonna help with ceramics. You know what? Let's get another mortar for the fun of it. The big one. Don't have the artillery battery yet. Shell shock is gonna be needed. But for this one, I'm not sure if I should get shell shock or heavy shells. If a black balloon comes out, and I see that the snipers aren't handling it too well, then heavy shells it is. Come on. Let's have this over here. Let's see how he copes. Forgot when the black ones come out, so that's might be a bit concerning. Hopefully not this round, and thankfully there it's not. Oh, that's leakage right there. No, no leakage. That's cool. No leakage for once.
It seems as if the water is coming in towards this pool from both ends. So the water is flowing here and also all is flowing here. So that wouldn't make sense because the water will just keep getting bigger and bigger unless there's a drain in the middle, which keeps the water flow um, steady. But that also wouldn't make much sense because if you had to drain right here, wouldn't it suck this thing in? Or like at least spin this on its like center of mass? I know this is really nerdy stuff, but sure. I'll just, just, just deal with it. It's who I am. Come on. Let me have the heavy shells. Heavy shells, heavy shells. There we go. This is the thing that's gonna help with ceramics. No signal flare. I wonder if the mortar can hit camo. Let's see when the camo's coming out. When the first camo comes out and the mortar can't hit it, then I'll have them all I'll have this guy have signal flare. Or one of them have signal flare. Yep, yep, leakage, leakage prevention. I didn't didn't do it all that well, but I guess it worked. Yeah, this thing definitely helps keep the black balloons in place. Come on, come on. This guy is taking a shell shock. Yup, apparently there is no such thing as camo detection or mortars. You know what, this this is getting real. Let's have one on each point of the targeting system. Like one's right here. This guy will get increased accuracy. This can be super accurate, which means for this guy, I need to make sure it's right on edge. What why are all these three here? You're you're going back here. And then need signal flare, signal flare fast. Now, the question is, will burning stuff come with faster reload, or will it come with bigger blast? Do I want more area guarantee, or do I just want? Actually, they're kind of the same. But it doesn't matter. Actually, it kind of doesn't matter, but like, I'm still not really concerned about this at this point. Because all I need is signal flare. With shattering shells. Should I strip all special balloon properties of all. off all but the biggest balloons? So we're gonna have three barrels of triple the pain. Sounds like something I might want, but uh, it's too expensive, 9,000. The heavy shells is gonna take... Or I'm wondering if I should get some of my snipers. Get them, let them have something. Because this guy is first getting shell shock. I've been saving up for that one for a long, long time. Just that camo and glass are kind of a problem. There we go, shell shock, shell shock. The thing about shell shock is I can have it at more at center target. Because it's gonna, sh it's gonna sh shock those shells. Or just shells will shock the balloons. Yeah, uh, shell shock is. I can pair this up with. I'll just do. Balloon Buster, uh. I say faster reload because 
I don't need Bloom Buster for the Signal Flare. It's cool to see three different types of explosions, all within the same acid pool. But yeah, looks like I'm set for round, um, round 39. Or not 39, I was thinking about uh, round 59. I don't have to deal with round 59 at the moment. It seems like a monkey ace will be greatly appreciated on fighter plane mode. But I'll get sharper dark and center path. Because Without the center path, just flying around in an 8-circle, like like an 8-figure on this right thing. Never missing targets and bomb rays. I have to go with never missing. Spectre and Operation Darkstorm. I should have gotten Operation Darkstorm. But it doesn't matter. Don't really need it. Fighter plane is what I really need. Because there's a Moab coming up, and I would hate to lose to it. And this thing, this thing can go through the walls. So that's something I didn't notice before. Oh, and I can also, I guess I can also save up for this guy. Maybe I can sell something at the end of this. Maybe camo is not really needed. Yeah, I think I can take a helipad in case something really good goes quite wrong. Now, what should I get? Not press, no. Ooh, let's see here. I might need blue gunner. Uh, no, that's too expensive. A helipad seems right, but a large calibre, I guess, can also work. No, hel helipad's the way to go. Mob shove is too expensive. Faster firing and faster darts. Go for first path. I can kind of sell this one. Here. Come on, come on. I'm kind of dragging this guy around my mouth. Okay, that is. That was intense, but it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. So, that's cool. It's always cool when things go the way. And I get- Ooh, I get a monkey farm! I get a farm. Huh. Maybe I can fit one more. Oh, I get a workshop next for- what is this? That looks, that looks hard. So does this impoppable. What is what is impoppable even? I've got powers, don't need powers. Yeah. Don't don't need this. I guess I can do primary only on Hearts and darts. You know what I can do? Let's have all dart monkeys for this one. Let's use only dart monkeys. How fun would that be if it actually works? No. I don't have to worry about camo lead. So all I have to worry about is lead and moabs so this guy is gonna get a spike a pull get some quick shots actually it's gonna be bad not the best idea let's try this with all um all um all dart monkeys i'm not gonna take back on this one long range darts and enhanced dice I can get Juggernaut a bit later on. 
maybe around like round 15 or something. I mean, it's kind of called carts and darts, so I assume. I can remove these if I want, but that's kind of useless because money is kind of everything right now. This guy's gonna get enhanced eyesight. Go for strong. It's kind of convenient that this guy lines up with this path a little bit, also lines up with this path. So, I might get sharp shots for him. And start getting quick shots on That would be strange if they had a support tower only mode. Where all you had was banana farms, uh, the and the Well, if they didn't, if they did, they would have had the event before, or the challenge before, um, what is it called? Before the engineer came out. So I wonder how that would have worked, if that would there. I don't know if it is, but I assume it is. Oh, so the crossbow can pop three layers and three balloons. So that's cool. Or maybe... Yeah. Um, it seems like quick shots is the way to go. For this guy, I don't need sharp shots because this guy has all the popping. <laughs> like that. Quick shots is all I really need. Yeah, this guy only pops two. Or does it? Maybe it's just a projectile. They've magically converted the Dark Monkey into an archer, a crossbow archer hunter of sorts. Oh, and he still has these three darts on his belt. So that's strange, assuming he doesn't ever use them anymore. That's kind of weird. I'm not going to question it though. It's time to save up for Juggernaut, because I have no other way of popping lead balloons if I don't save up. Come on, hurry up. Get the balloons moving. The Juggernaut is like this as soon as the balloons come to the Juggernaut's range, he pushes them back for another 5 seconds. Or the spike pole. There. Oh, pink balloons are here. This is why I get the crossbow for those um, annoying pinks. Where? What? Oh, there's the one more. Okay, let's go. Dragonaut is gonna go for the leads. I hope. Oh, and that's fast. Ultra Juggernaut is... I don't even know what that does. It's, uh, it splits twice into six Juggernaut balls for even more destructive power. So does that mean it's um it's like the... the... the multi-shot from BZ3? If it was, that would have been strange. Because there's six now, not just three.
This has to be here for balloon cleanup. There we go. Yep, like that. Just like that. Not doing a great job so far. But it's good. It's enough. When are the leads coming? I thought there were supposed to be leads. Close. I want all the splashes to be close. Well, technically this and this are both splash. But this one's like vertical or like linear splash. And this one is um, radius splash. Or not radius splash, but this one's like cluster splash. From now on, I'm gonna call these guys that shoot in a straight line, like for example, Ninja Monkey, the Wizard, and the Engineer, um, Linear Splash, and things like Bomb Tower, this guy, and like, I don't know. And maybe like, like those bomb things, I don't know. like maybe the, I'm just gonna call those Cluster Splash. I guess that I can also call these guys Cluster Splash. I'll just call these guys um, the Radius Splash because they kind of shoot in a radius. And apart from that radius, it doesn't go any farther. So I'll be up to see you, the Juggernaut can take care of LEDs. That's just what I wanted. Now, I can have a Sharpshooter right here. It's gonna do some damage to the Moab, I hope. And since I don't need cleanup for this guy, this guy's gonna be um, a damage dealer, basically. These two look the same, but on the inside they're not. You know, this guy can upgrade to Super Monkey. Oh no, this guy can upgrade to Super Monkey Fan Club. This guy has, like, no radius at all. How? This guy's range is pretty good. Plasma Monkey Fan Club and the... Uh... I'll have a Crossbow Master. Ooh, looks cool. Just looks a bit too expensive. Ooh, not gonna get that today. It's cool how this guy can now, like, immediately pop, like, like, purple balloons now. And purple balloons just the same as black and whites. I can remove this for five, five. Or I can save up for a monkey fan club. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do here. Monkey Fan Club looks cool. But at the same time, I know I'm only going to use it for one round. I know I can use it. It's um, affordable. When they tell to use primary, and all you have a dark monkeys, it's a bit interesting how things turn out. Uh, okay. So it looks like I have far from enough. Or not far from the far over enough to get the monkey fan club. I have three more rounds, and each round gives me around 2,000. I hope they do. The juggernauts taking care of leads like usual. You know what? Super monkey fan club it is. Let's go with this. I can, this guy can, um... Monkey fan club it is.
And did I mention that Juggernaut is extremely good for ceramics? Because it is. This is gonna turn into a few rainbow balloons. Let's not get auto start at the moment. This is five so far. I can remove one of this and get a. Um, no, you know what? Screw it. Ten it is. Oh, I don't have enough. That's not very convenient. I can sell this guy and maybe get. There we go, that's 9. Don't have really have enough for 10. So, let's do this, boys. Let's keep an auto start. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Let's see how this turns out. 3, 2, 1, let's go! Bruh. How do you lose with a Super Monkey fan club? Like, this is good. This is overpowered. This is just too expensive, Plasma Monkey fan club. But once I have it, it's gonna be better than Sentry Paragon. So there we go. Hey, the music didn't glitch. What's the exclamation mark? What do you have for me? You do not have anything of my interest. Go away, little messenger monkey. What can I what can I do with this? I have too much monkey money. You know, I need to, I need to find some way of spending it. But I don't spend all my monkey monies. Can I spend anything on? No, no, no. There's no rewards are too much, too much, too much rewards. I can respect all. My, I don't know what that does. I can buy something like this. But you know what? Let's see. I can have Captain Churchill, Pat Futsy, Giant Monkey, and Benjamin. So. Okay, next time if I see you guys, I'll probably have these guys ready for you guys to see what they do. And if I have enough funky money, I'll get the voodoo as well. And hopefully I can grind some more maps before you guys come back. And I'll leave some of the more interesting ones for you guys to see. Like, 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 for example, this guy right here, the workshop. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, um, not, not really any purposeful video. Goodbye and peace out.